Hello, I'm Timothy Perfect from Two Canoe Software, and I want to show you how XCreds 3.1 authenticates users from Active Directory onto your local Mac. So let's jump right in. So let me switch over. So I have a machine here running Ventura that is also running XCreds 3.1 at the login window. Um, this is not the normal Mac login window, nor is it the normal cloud login window, but a new login window, which is basically local authentication, also enabled for Active Directory authentication. So uh, I will, before I actually log in and show you that, I want to show you how I have everything set up. So let me uh, minimize this. And I have, um, first thing you want to do is set up the configuration profile for XCred. So what I did is I went in and, and I set the AD domain. So I have a twocanoes.com domain um, that allow me to authenticate users, and I added this to the profile. That's the only key you need um, for basic authentication actor directory is just the domain. Of course, the Mac itself has to be in the same network, be able to find it, but that's, that's all um, based on DNS. So as long as that's set up correctly in your network, it should be able to find it. So next thing we need is a user. And so let me go ahead and Active Directory users, user and computers. I will create a new user. There we go. And using, I'll do Wilma. Uh, Um, and give it a password. And I will have it so that they don't have to change it, which is bad security practice, but good demo practice because then I won't have a problem later. Um, and so now that user is created, brand new user is created. Obviously they don't have a local account on this Mac because it's a brand new user. So I'll go ahead and sign in as Wilma spell it correctly, Wilma, hit return, and now the Wilma's being logged in, an account is being provisioned, uh, a password set for the local account, the local um, home directory is being created, and also set up a keychain for that user as well. And so um, then once they log in, they'll be asked to go through the uh, setup for their account, the privacy and permissions, I'll just go through this. All right. So now we have this user Wilma is logged in. But one of the other things that we can do if, if, uh, if XCreds is set up to be running, which it normally is, you set this up in your MDM to automatically running, it'll go ahead and oh, we'll want to opt into these uh, notifications. So that'll let us know anytime the password change, those kind of things. But now, we, um, because that application is running, if I open up Ticket Viewer, you'll notice that I have a Kerberos ticket. And so now I'm fully authenticated in as that user, and I have a Kerberos ticket so I can participate in single sign-on. So thanks very much for watching. That's the Active Directory uh, Authentication XCreds 3.1.